YouTube welcome back hope you guys are doing well staying healthy I haven't had a chance to get videos made for you guys I've been super busy all right so took the time this evening to put a bunch of news articles together for you guys all right so as you guys know the news is getting very difficult to follow now and understand so if anyone has any questions would like help we do study the news at a much deeper level and we we actually put a lot of time into searching news in general there's a lot of news articles that we see that and we locate that really isn't discussed by most others okay so we put a lot of time and research and, and analysis into helping you over here on patreon on, on the main home screen of youtube if, if you would like more help if you would like to work with us and do a much more deeper thorough research and see more articles and and just get a really good understanding of what's happening in Iraq, you can click right here on the Patreon link on the homepage of my YouTube site, and we'll be more than glad to help you out. All right, let's get going on the news. Let's see what the exchange rate is. All right, so here's the CBI's website. Let's scroll down. There you go. Iraq is still using the current exchange rate of 1,460 dinar per U.S. dollar. So they're still operating at 1460. The rate has not changed. Let's look at some news articles. All right. KRG calls on Iraq's federal government to implement the budget law. Remember I shared something with you guys and I told you as nicely as I could to help you. I said that Iraq really would not be utilizing a 12-month budget and here they're actually telling you that um Iraq's telling you guys in this article guys that they have not even implemented the budget yet so if they haven't even implemented it yet like I said they're not utilizing a 12-month budget hmm now you guys see why I went to Patreon because I have intel that nobody else has Okay, so there you go. If right there, Iraq's telling you they very clearly did not implement the budget. Okay, they're right here. Kurdistan says they're calling on the federal government to implement the budget. So as you guys see, it very clearly hasn't been implemented yet. And like I told you, Iraq isn't using a 12-month budget. There you go. Alright, here's another article. Parliament confirms the imminent formation of a committee to follow up the implementation of the budget paragraphs. So, so even here, they're suggesting to you that the budget hasn't even been implemented yet. Because they need a committee and a, they need a committee to follow up on the implementation of the budget. So even this, they don't even have a committee in, in place yet that's going to that's even going to work with the budget implementation. So they, they guys, they haven't even implemented the budget yet. There you go. And right here, this is a little bit of an older article from April 1st, but it, and it's from the central bank. The central bank says it's implementing its reforms. And guess what? They're telling you they've implemented the reforms at the current rate right there of 1,460 dinar per dollar so there you go so Iraq has officially told you they've implemented the reforms at the current value the current devalue rate of 1460 dinar per dollar here's an article from to, from uh, 429 the return of the dollar exchange rate to what it was in the past and this one contradicts itself the issue of the return of the dollars rate to what it has become in the past there are no indications regarding it the current time does not allow to return to what it was due to health conditions but there's a rumor some say some say the exchange rate of the dollar will return to its previous before before the elections it is noteworthy on december 20th iraq decided to reduce the value of the dinar against the dollar to 1460 instead of 1190 to contain the financial crisis and the cbi told you that the new rate of 1460 that they've adopted within the 21 budget benefits their economy much better so as you guys see they're leaving it at 1460 government has failed to contain the economic situation 
This article is from April 1st. The government has failed to contain the economic situation and Iraq has entered a major recession. A member of Parliament Economic Committee warned on Saturday a major recession that is coming Iraq's markets now due to government policies. A major recession in the Iraqi market for weeks has pushed its activity to the lowest rate, which gives a negative signal and the deterioration, deteriorating economic situation that millions of Iraqis are paying for in all provinces. The government's policy of containing high prices and controlling prices has failed to achieve the goal. Rather, it is not a clear mechanism of controlling prices, which has led to double increase the rates of poverty and unemployment. She pointed out that the image reaches the influential leaders of the countries does not reflect the reality of the general economic scene in terms of tragic and its effects on the poor and simple, noting that the situation is getting more complicated day by day. In the light of the existence of any government strategy to, to contain the price fever created by raising the dollar price without any alternatives that protect the citizen from high prices. The Iraqi markets are suffering from the repercussions of raising the exchange rate despite the passage of months after its implication due to the inability to control prices. So there you go. Iraq's inflation as of November of last year was at a half a percent. Is it point? 0.5 or 0.05 as of right now Iraq's inflation has spiked to 5%. Oil continues to rise and Brent is touching $67 a barrel. As you guys see Iraq has not gotten any loans recently. Okay? They don't have to. They don't have to get loans now. They have plenty of money from the oil surplus. Okay? And now that they have a surplus of money from oil revenue, they technically don't have to change the rate either, guys. They have plenty of money coming in now from oil. So they have, and again, that's why they haven't been getting loans. They have their affairs covered financially. So, and as you guys see, they've also implemented the reforms. Like they've told you, that was from the central bank. They've told you they've implemented the reforms at the current rate of 1460. There's, there's some daily news for you guys. If you guys need any help, better understanding what's really happening in Iraq, again, you can join us on patreon and we'll be more than glad to help you out okay right here in the right edge of the black bar up top patreon right there guys we can definitely help you out you guys are the best take care guys and have a great evening stay stay safe and healthy